This video will show you how to make a candle with a bow pattern. This element and this pattern are frequently used in candles of different heights and widths. Here the new element you'll learn how to do is the so-called button, or the middle of the bow. The buttons are dipped separately from the candle and there are two ways to make them. One way is that you can make them in advance. They will be already cold, so you will fix them on the warm candle when you start making it. And another way is to make them after the candle is ready and cold, but the buttons are warm and so you can easily fix them. Decide for yourself which way is more convenient. However, right now I suggest you making the buttons first. Watch a separate tutorial on making the buttons and having done that, dip the candle. Let's start cutting. As usual, first remove the excessive paraffin from the candle wick. And then cut the bottom. Try to make the bottom as flat as possible and adjust any form or shape deviations if they appear during the dipping. Place the candle on the table and see if it stands fine. Then put it back on the hook and start making level marks. All elements of the bow candle are bent towards the middle, so that's where we make the marks. In this very case, we have a clear color division, which doesn't require any extra marks. But if the candle is monochromatic, then make marks using the rear side of the knife and dividing the candle strictly in half. So the level is the middle of the candle. Since we do already have this level, we can start cutting the petals. There will be two petals at the top and two at the bottom. The distance between the marks should be about 12 to 13 millimeters. So we're going to cut the second petal from the maximum height and the first one lower. Repeat making the marks on the whole candle and then begin at the upper part. Begin at the lower mug, which is closer to the middle. Cut a petal with a firm root and a sharp tip, stopping a little bit before the middle. Then bend the tip diagonally down in any direction that you choose. And then keep alternating the sides, left and right, left and right. The tips should lie directly in the middle on the place of color division. Alternating the directions, we form pairs of petals. The tips touch, but don't overlap, so there is some freedom to make any other elements if need be. The 
the first row is ready. Now let's begin the second one. The petals of this row can be a bit firmer and thicker because you don't have to leave any space just in case. This is the second and last petal on this part. Change the bending direction. If the previous element went right, then this should go left. And so on. The petal tips go down and are fixed again in the middle of the candle. They shouldn't be higher than the previous row, but they sort of go around those petals without deforming or pressing them. They are laying quite loosely and forming kind of an arch. The upper part is ready and now we can start carving the bottom part, making down-up cuts. Make marks with the distance of 12 to 13 millimeters between them and start with the upper one, because it's closer to the center. The petals of the first row are a bit smaller in size. These tips are fixed close to the tips of the upper petals. The sharper the tips are, the easier it is to do. Don't forget to alternate the sides. So, the first bows are done. Each of them consists of four petals. Now let's do the bottom row, the last one. Cut the second petal, make it firm and stable, and join these petals with the upper ones. Making these petals, try to open up the colors fully. They should be really bold and bright. Make thick roots. And see that you bend the petals in a way that they form arches and they don't press upon those elements underneath. If the petals are not long enough to reach the other petals, then first stretch them slightly and only then lift them up. Check all the bows. There should be three big bows and three small ones. Now the last step for this candle is fixing the pre-made paraffin buttons in the middle of each of the bow. Each center of each bow should get a button. Fix them really well, pushing a little bit into the middle. No glue or anything else is needed. They will stick to the candle well, provided that the candle is still warm enough. You 
you will need six buttons. You need to make sure that you have enough time to fix the buttons while the candle is still warm. The bow candle is ready. Clean the wick and make a hole in the top, cutting 5 to 6 mm through the top part with the smallest round knife. Cut through the colored layers and don't touch the base. Then get the paraffin out The bow is ready and don't forget to varnish it. We've just finished the candle and now let's discuss some details. So first of all, the cuts should be neat, even and symmetrical. This is a rule and this is the most important thing for us. The tips should be thin and the roots should be thick. This pattern consists of double elements which should be equal in size and thickness and they should also join easily in one point. That's why the bow element itself should be practiced really well. Each element should be equal in how big and plump it is. You have to practice the bow and its elements a lot and only after that you can watch the next lesson about the bow element with additions. There the pattern is also based on the bow, but it gets more complicated and looks quite differently.